Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. There are timestamps in the description box if you want to skip ahead, as well as information like what decks I am using. Please know that time is fluid, so whenever you're viewing this, it could represent a past, present, or a future situation for you. Card immediately coming out here, we do have the Ten of Swords. So there's some kind of pain involved. There could have been an ending here. I also see somebody here begging for forgiveness. You know, I did you wrong in the past. I do see that very clear now. Five of Wands. Five of Wands would show that maybe you are um, a little bit emotionally conflicted about this. You know, it can be about, you know, traditionally arguments or fighting. That may be for some of you, but, you know, when I get the Five of Wands, especially in this deck, you know, it's kind of more like an internal thing. It's kind of like something you're struggling with. You know, can I even accept this person's offer? Why did it take them so long to bring me this offer? Why did it take them so long to apologize in the first place? Do I trust it? Maybe this person's hurt you in the past, okay? And, you know, it's like maybe you're still kind of trying to heal from that or you, know, you want to believe it in a sense, but at the same time, it's like so conflicted because, you know, what if I get my hopes up here and this person hasn't changed or they're not truly sorry or they don't truly make an effort here? We do have the Justice card, which is Libra energy. So you could have, been, some of you may have been married to this person in the past or um, something like that, but this is about them wanting to make things right. They are coming back in here. They are trying to balance the scales. You know, I see the error of my ways. I know that I did you wrong in the past, groveling at your feet. You know, I'm so sorry, Cancer. Can you please forgive me? You know, I pushed you away. You know, I ended things or, you know, I did you wrong. And, you know, I see that now, but it's like, please, you know, just hear me out. Hear my cry, you know. Um, will you will you accept me we have the seven of swords maybe they deceived you they could have lied about something okay there may have been someone else involved for some of them i'm also hearing for someone they may have married the wrong person and now they realize that and it took them this time some of you i'm hearing five to ten months i'm hearing five to ten years uh, and again time energy is fluid right but with this it's like they i, I know what i did wrong I'm sorry that I lied to you. Some of them may have already been in a commitment or kept some kind of big secret from you, okay? And, you know, now they wish they hadn't have. Are they truly sorry? Can you believe them? Part of you wants to. Knight of Swords, they're coming in quick. This could be very unexpected. You may be hearing from this person, you know, oof, the magician. Gemini Virgo energy. We also have Gemini Libra Aquarius with that Knight of Swords. This person's coming in quickly. They are trying to manifest this opportunity yet again with you. This person, I mean, they have a lot to say. And they are going to be very clear, very direct, very blunt with what they need to say. Uh, this apology here, it's its not even just like, a, you know, I'm really, hey, how have you been, Cancer? I'm, listen, I'm really sorry. It's, I messed up. Yeah, I, I, I'm so, you know what I mean? It's like this person is literally begging for a chance here. They're, be, they're begging for your energy. Will you give it to them? Part of you, it's like maybe you've been waiting to hear this for so long. It's like part of you doesn't even believe that it's real. Or, you know, it's kind of conflicted in the sense, can I trust this? Can I trust this person? You want to. Why couldn't you have seen this earlier? Why did it take you so long to see this? Why did it take you so long to come back around after realizing you made a mistake and to fix things? You know, you do, maybe some of you, some of you still may love this person. And may, you know, dream of, you know, possibly moving forward and creating something here. This person is offering you everything that you're asking for, but or have asked for in the past, but is it too late? I mean, they're begging. Like, if, and if you refuse this person, I mean, they're going to, I mean, they may say, okay, yeah, I understand, but they're going to come back around. They don't want, yeah, this person's afraid. They're afraid to come towards you. Aries energy. And the fool is about taking risks, taking chances, you know, feeling optimistic about something. In this deck, I never get that. It's kind of like a fearful energy. Look at how this person's kind of cowering. I did you wrong. You know, I, I, I wish I could take it back. You know, I wish I could have seen clearly then. You know, I should have, you know, I should have, would have, could have. If I could just take this all back, if I could go back in time, if I could set things right for us, you know, but I can't. And, you know, it's like they're coming in. They're begging for this chance. They know there's a strong possibility here. You may not even want to hear from them anymore. <sighs> Cancer. What happened? And there's some kind of deception here for sure. But, I mean, what it was could be a lot of things. The Eight of Wands. They're, com they're still communicating to you. They're shooting arrows of love to you. They may want to see you, the Tower, Scorpio energy. This is very unexpected. Now, this is what you've wanted, okay? But now you're guarded. It's like you. some of you may have prayed for this, wished for this, hoped for this in that moment, but maybe too much damage has been done. 
there's a lot of pain here and you're very emotionally guarded. You don't know if you can trust this person. You may want to. You may wish that you could. You know, are they going to really, you know, make an effort here? They're, they're reaching out despite the fact that they are afraid of what you're going to say. They're afraid of being rejected by you. Maybe they rejected you in the past, okay? They may have chose wrong. They may have made a bad decision. They may have kept you in the dark. They may have kept secrets from you, okay? We'll get clarifiers since what's going on for cancer, please. Yeah. You're holding back, okay? It's like you you're, you got your poker face on. It's like they come to you, they're begging for another chance. Um, they may even be asking to see you, okay, in person. Hey, you know, I know we haven't talked in a while, but could we meet up? You know, could that happen? Or, you know, can we FaceTime? Or can we, you know, can we talk? Can I call you? You know, they're asking, but you're like, I don't know, but they, 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 they're going to keep trying. They can fit, sense that you're guarded, that you're protecting your heart here, okay? Yeah, because you're conflicted because you do still have emotions for this person. You know, some of you may still be in love with them, okay? This may even be like a past life soulmate for some of you or a childhood sweetheart or an ex um, or just like a situation that never got off the ground. This person's coming here trying to pour their heart, their time, their energy out to you, but you're conflicted because maybe in the past, you know, this is about equal give and take, okay? But when I look at this card, how I see this, you know, what my intuition shows me here is here we have someone constantly giving out their cups. They've only got one left for themselves. They've already given so much to this person. You've done giving them your love, your time, your energy, your devotion, you know, maybe financial support for some of you. And you've only got, you know, they're not replenishing. They're not giving anything. They're not bringing you anything. I don't see anybody collecting coins here. I don't see anybody collecting cups. I don't see anybody. You get what I'm saying? What are they giving you in return? You're conflicted because will this be a repeat of the past? I gave and gave and gave to this person and they didn't replenish what I need. If I take them back, you know, will it be fair? Because maybe this person still does pull at your heartstrings. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe this person was very inconsistent. They were back and forth, hot and cold in the past. You know, they weren't in that committable energy. You know, they just kind of wanted to come in, have a good time, you know, talk, flirt, talk a big game, and then they, they were off again. You know, can you trust this person? You know, maybe they had other people, other options for some of them. They're saying they're going to right their wrongs. Are they going to do it? Can you trust them? You're confused. Because they deceived you in the past. They may have had some of them. Again, this is general. Please take it how it resonates. Leave what does not. Do not force anything to fit. Okay. Some of them may have had a lot of options. Okay? They may have really kept their options open in the past. And they deceived you in a sense because of that. They may have other things that they used to, they, they prioritized over the connection with you. It's like no matter how much you gave, they didn't give in return. They kept you in the dark about things or they, they were not open with their feelings or they kept a lot hidden from you. Now you feel like there's still secrets here. Can you trust them? They are coming in and they are being very honest and very clear about their emotions. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. They are, I mean, they are... They do have genuine feelings for you, and they are coming in to tell you that they're being very direct, very honest, very blunt about how they feel. It is risky for this person because they know there's a chance you're going to shoot them down. You may not want to hear from them. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, they were juggling. They Things were very unbalanced in the past. They're trying to right their wrongs from that. They are manifesting this other chance with you. They're telling you things are going to be fair now. Things are going to be balanced. I'm going to make things right for us. They're scared because they know that there's a deep connection between the two of you. Gemini energy here. This person feels like you're their soulmate. Maybe you're the person they're supposed to spend the rest of their life with. Maybe they chose wrong. The lovers can be about a choice. Whether they chose a karmic partner, okay, or they chose to prioritize something else. Their ego, selfishness, greed, addiction, whatever the case may have been. They chose that. Can you forgive them? Will you accept them back? They're scared that you're not going to do it. They're scared that, you know, this is their one shot. This is their one chance to make things right with you. And if they can't, you know, I don't think they're going to give up, but they know that it's really going to wound their ego, their pride, if you refuse them. And I've got two storylines here um, for some of you. This person is promising to make things right. They are promising, you know, and they're, 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 they're being serious what they're saying. You know, but you're, they're going to have to prove it to you because if, you know, if you're still in love with this person, if you still want a chance with them, they're going to have to really show you. They're going to have to stand up and be strong here and prove to you, you know, that their trust can be rebuilt here. For others of you, and what I get very strongly is some of you may have found someone else. Some of you may be thinking about new love. Some of you 
um, are taking a risk in a new direction because you don't know if you can trust this. It's like you waited for, like I want to say like you waited for um, closure here. Like you waited for this person to come in and tell you something. You waited for this person to come in and apologize. You've been waiting so long to hear that from this person that yes, I messed up. Yes, I made a mistake. I see that now. I should have did this. I should have gave more to this. I shouldn't have dismissed what we had. I shouldn't have been so selfish. I shouldn't have sat in my pride. But now is it too late? Because have you moved on? Have you done healed from this and moved on? First of all, you don't know if you can even trust this person. They're wanting to reconcile with you and they're, they're wanting to get together with you. It could be a Pisces, okay, with this person. You're kind of holding yourself back, okay? You don't know if you trust it. The tower came down in the past. It took you a lot for you to rebuild from this. You're very emotionally guarded. Some of you, if there's new love coming in, like you're getting to know this person, talking to this person, but the past still haunts you and the past is going to try to come back and maybe you know that. This person wants to, they want an opportunity to see with you. They may just say, oh, let's go to dinner as friends. Let's just chat, you know, if, if you guys live close. If not, they're asking, like, you know, you hear them out. Can we reconcile this? It's going to be completely up to you. So we have surrender the habit of people pleasing, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. You know what, Cancer? And I feel like this is such a strong message for you guys. You have given, given, given so much of your time, your energy, your love to other people, okay? Other situations, friends, family, work, love, okay? But make sure that you're getting replenished. Ask for what you need. Don't be afraid to say, listen, this is what I need. You know, if you want to even be my life, be my friend, you know, if you even want me to hear out your apology, whether or not you even decide to take it, you know, ask for what you need, you know, from this person, from anyone moving forward. You know, it's not your job to nurture and take care and protect everybody else. It's your job to focus on what's making you happy and live your life for you. It's, you know, there's nothing wrong with asking for things to be equally um, given, okay? It's not... It's not, there's nothing selfish about one happiness and respect, okay, in a relationship. You know, wanting your partner to give equally, equal reciprocity, okay? Surrender to prayer. So give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Some of you are really praying on what to do here, you know? Um, first of all, you have such a big heart, so, so much love in it. Even if this person hurts you, like you don't want, like you know it's going to hurt them to reject them. Uh, you're trying to figure out how to do that, okay? But you but you can't put yourself, some of you may not be able, be able to put yourself in that position again. You know, it's just too much, you know. Uh, you'll hear out their apology, you know, but forgive, not forget, right? And for others of you, you're praying because you truly don't know what to do here. Because like I say, some of you may still love this person. Some of you may want to give this a chance and you're going to have to figure out, you know, what that answer is for you. What do you need from this person to prove that they're going to make a change here? They're willing to try, but there's a lot of um, insecurity here because not necessarily within yourself, but because this person has proven time and time again that, you know, they were deceptive in some way or they kept things or kept you in the dark. Have they changed? How do you need this person to prove it to you? Okay. That they're willing to try here. Ask for what you need. Speak and be heard. Okay? Pray about it. Meditate on it. It's completely up to you what you want to do here. Some of you have just decided that you are, you know, focused on new love here. There's no going back to the past. But others of you, others of you, you just, you need a clear answer. You don't know what to do. You're conflicted internally about what the best option is here. Can you trust this? Okay? Ask for what you need. It is not selfish to want happiness for yourself. Pray about it and then discuss it with this person, you know, for those of you who do want to reconcile this. For the rest of you, you know, this may be you politely telling this person, yeah, you hurt me. I'm healing from that, but there's no second chances. I've moved on. So this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.